Good morning, church family. I hope that you're doing well. I know it's been a while since I've been able to uh, be here to uh, share a devotion with you this morning. Been visiting my family in Florida, taking care of, um, or not taking care of, but being uh, around family, which is a very, very good thing. And I hope that summer is starting well for you and it is hot here in Southern California, um, hence the tank tops. So, but let's pray before we begin. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your word. We just thank you for your guidance in our life. We thank you for wanting to be involved in our life. And Lord, I just pray that as this, as I um, share this little devotion that you put on my heart, that um, it would just uh, be a blessing to all that hear it. And I just ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. My title today is um, From Waiting to I Will Provide. Um, sometimes when I'm getting ready to, uh, when I sit down, getting ready to do the devotion, I'm kind of waiting um, to hear from the Lord what way He's, you know, speaking to my heart the loudest. Um, it kind of jumps from subject to, to different topics or just stays in the blank. I mean, it goes to a blank mode. Kidding. Um, but today, um, I just wanted to share and to encourage you that um, even though we might still be in a waiting period, um, but also be encouraged that the Lord will provide. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and read from my notes. Um, as I shared in the past, I put my house up on the market to sell. And as we were getting things completed, I felt the Lord's peace with that decision. I still feel that peace and that hasn't changed. Um, but I asked the Lord because it's been a while and I, I have to be honest with you, the way the market was going, I expected, you know, that my house was going to be sold. Then I was going to go see my family. And when I got back, everything was going to be just calm and, and ready to go into the next stage. And, um, even though most of that is true, my house hasn't sold, um, but that's okay. And I know that the Lord, um, I know that the Lord has me here in this season for a reason. And when your back is pushed against the wall to trust and obey, that's exactly what you have to do. You have to trust and you have to obey and you have to listen. And when there's other things that are involved in our life, um, we tend not to listen so well. But um, anyway, that's why I feel that the Lord will provide and that's where he has me right now. My mind has kind of gone um, thinking about Moses and uh, he's leading a million people um, from Egypt out into the wilderness and they come face to face with this raging river that is and looks impossible to cross and through the crowd he's starting to hear the the hooves uh, the pounding hooves of Pharaoh and his army and I and I know just like Moses, he heard the Lord correctly. I know that I heard the Lord correctly as well. And it's just in that 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 position that just uh, uh, are you trusting me? Do you do you uh, find um, peace in where I've got you? And I feel like the Lord is asking me, are you the person that's going to move um, when I ask you to move? Maybe. And maybe you've entered into a wind of change yourself. And you feel that you're headed down a runway and the momentum is gaining speed faster than you've expected. When we have to, uh, we have to remember that God has a different view than what we do. His view may involve an alignment necessary in our lives to bring us where He can use us the most. Sometimes it's hard to open our hands and allow the Lord to, to take away what we knew as our comfort. But we also can't receive from the Lord if we keep our hands closed and if we don't allow that blessing to be given to us. Exodus 14, 13 and 14. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will comp accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you will see no more. The Lord will fight for you, and he shall hold your peace. I like the way the New Living Translation uh, puts verse 14. It says, and the Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. While in the wilderness, God shows his great love, and it 
and I believe this is where he has me right now. God did not promise me great wealth. He did not promise me fame or fortune. What he did promise as I walk with him is a provision, protection, and his love. Just as he provided bread from heaven, water from a rock, and he, uh, carried, he covered the wilderness wanderers with a cloud of shade during the day to keep them from the heat, the sun's heat, and a pillar of fire to keep them warm from the desert's cold. Uh, and their clothes didn't wear out. Now this is gonna be a little selfish on my part. If that's true, I wish I would've got different clothes. I believe he's the same, he'll do the same for you and for me. I know that this is just a very quick devotion today, but I do hope that it encourages you and that you know that you are in the Lord's hands and that he wants the best for you. Sometimes we don't understand what we're walking through, but when we walk, when we look backwards, it seems like our path is more straight. Let's close in prayer today. Dear Heavenly Father, I just know that there's so many of us that are going through a wilderness um, experience right now and it is for our good and there is something that you want us to hear uh, and uh, you want us to be um, uh, focused on your word and Lord I just pray that uh, you would continue to encourage us and to continue to walk in faith and we ask it in Jesus name. Amen.